When the osmometer is first turned on, it will do a self-test and then will bring you to this screen, the admin login. Uh, the default password here is six zeros. So that's six zeros, okay. And that will bring you to this home screen. Um, I've already shown calibration, so here I'll show how to set the parameters or set the range um, of molarity that you want the sample to be within. You go set up more. Okay. Click in the print field and then to standard. And this is the range that if your sample is between, it will pass, and if your sample is outside of this range of molarity, it will fail. Um, you can adjust these one by one. I'll leave these set right there for now though. Okay. And then you can go back to the main screen to run your single or multi-test. Now that we have our three points of calibration, we can run either a single or multi-test. We'll start with single. And I've already added my sample here to this separate sample tube. Add that onto the tip of the osmometer and then select test. Are our results. You have the option to save into the system and also to print out the results onto this sheet here. And the procedure for a multi-test is the same as a single test. You just run one sample after another, switching them out in between tests. Um, you still enter the screen the same way. And one thing to note is that you will need at least five readings for the multi-test. Um, so if you have five separate samples back to back, that's when you would want to use this multi-test feature. Okay, so here we are calibrating our osmometer. I have three different calibration points here. So what we've done is we go into calibration, set the molarity to 500, which is this sample of calibration standards that I just loaded into the test tube here. Um, we'll load that into onto the tip here. And then click start to start the calibration. This will quickly get down to freezing point and then we'll let us know once the calibration is completed.
completed this step of the calibration.